Hey YouTube, Mike here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. All right, um, happy 4th of July to everyone. I know last week I didn't have a video up. Uh, my wife and I were on a small three-day vacation. Just needed to rest a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, I hope we're all doing well and I uh, hope you're all going to enjoy uh, Independence Day. All right. Today I got, as you can see here, a massive dump of Milwaukee stuff. Well, you know, I got my, uh, my old worker back and he's now paired with my son. So my big white truck is no longer mine and I left them everything. So when I knew he was coming back, I started buying some, you know, things that I knew I was going to need for a smaller van that I was going to get for myself. And I started stocking up on pack out and tools, but I was going 12 volt. I think I mentioned it once before, 12 volt drill, sawzall, multi-tool, light, everything. Well, now that I'm working out of my pickup truck and I cannot find a van, there's not a van anywhere. I didn't know about that fire in China with the chip and I can't find a van. And if I find a van that's used, they want the price of a brand new one. So. Um, I almost had a Nissan, one of them, and I want a tall one. I gotta have a tall one. I just can't go squatting in a small van. So I'll work out of my pickup truck and the deck system that I have now. And I found a Nissan. They had it for the end of this month. So I ordered it. I said, okay, I'll take it. And the guy called me up the next day, and he's like, sorry, Mike, another salesman promised it to somebody. And they ain't nothing around. So I ordered a van from Ford. But it's 14 weeks away. So I just started buying the stuff that I needed. And here's some of the stuff that I got. Now, these tools we already have and have been using. This is pretty much our go-to stuff with some of these right here that we have found to be really good for the Milwaukee product. All right, first thing, and I don't have to un unveil them. Uh, I'm not going to be using the big threader and the big hammer drill. Everything is going to be small. And I do have to have now 18 volt because I, I got to a job ahead of time and we had to run some water piping through cabinets. So I said, okay, I'll start drilling the holes. So I get my Milwaukee hole saw kit and I get, find the bit I need and I grab the drill and I'm like, this don't fit in a 12 volt. Ugh. And so now I need some 18 volt. So we have a lot of the, the 12 o the 9 o batteries, but that's for the big. These 3 o the high output 3 o batteries from Milwaukee, I find to be the best, smaller, little bit less weight, go-to battery. So I picked up a two-pack for $99 at Home Depot. Okay, so it's, a, it's the CP, and it's the high output ones, 3.0. Don't need that. You, you know what they are. Now, the drill. I just picked this up, and I actually got this drill from my supply house, because my supply house stocks um, Milwaukee. And they had this for $129. And... It's the exact same drill that we use on the truck all the time. But the reason that I, I like the drill, it's a, it's a fuel, it's a lithium ion battery, it's a it's, um, brushless motor. The reason I like this, this drill, and this drill is, why did I not read it off the box? Don't ask me why. All right, this drill is 2804-20. Uh, this is the driver and hammer because all I'm ever going to do is, and let me grab a small battery here that's already charged. You know, it's two speed. It's got 14. It's got the driver and the hammer function right here. That's hammer function. Okay, it's got the, you know, the nice Jacob chuck on it. Light, bit holder, 
belt clip, reversible, you can move them over. Battery comes out real nice. I only drill like quarter inch mollies, quarter inch hammer, quarter inch drop-ins, which would be a 3-8 bit. That's the most I'm ever gonna do off the truck. I ain't gonna drill no big two inch holes. So like I said, I don't need anything powerful. This drill, we get pretty much a whole year out of the drill with our truck using it pretty much six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day. All right, drilling through studs. It's a good, quick go-to drill. Now, we do have the 12 volt hammer only, the SDS, and that we use when we're drilling in a lot of anchors. But you gotta drill two mollies into concrete to hang a box that we have to put a Renai controller on. That's what basically we all use is this drill. And you know, it's got a, you know, I'm not a big fan of this holder, but it's okay. And I very, we very rarely use it because it's like I said, with the smaller bits that we're, we're the smaller pieces we're drilling. Okay. Um, I needed, again, this is all, like in the past three weeks, we have been just so busy. And after we're done with the tankless, then I go do my thing, they go do something else. So of course, while repairing, and I'll, instead of unboxing it, I'll just grab it from up here. Give me a second here. I needed the Milwaukee 12 volt little Dremel tool, as I, we call it. Um, it's a good little tool to um, do a little soaring with. And what I usually use it for is with the Dremel brushes to clean off like the filters or clean off some gasket material. And it works great if I got to grind a little uh, screw off. So this is, and it's the, um, what number is it here? Give me a sec. Okay, 2460-20. Everything will be in the description below. And we have had this tool for, oh God, over two years. And it's six speed, so that's low. That's high speed, that's six. Wrench to take it off, but it's also got knurled. That's the locking mechanism for the um, collet. You can swap out collets, fits the Dremel collets, because what I did is I bought a kit from uh, Dremel, which has all the sanding, little polishing, grinding wheels. So it's, uh, it's an 18 piece kit. It's the EZ, it's EZ, not easy, EZ 686-01. It's a nice little kit, it locks, it'll go inside of my pack outs, which you'll see in a second, because I found quite a bit of pack out that I, I wanted. Um, oh, <laughs> these are really good. This is the mini cutter. Uh, you could use it for automotive, 48, 22, 42, 50. It's their larger of the two mini cutters. So it'll do up to half inch copper, then they have a really large one, that'll go up to one inch copper. But I needed this when I gotta cut speedy old faucets and take the speedies off. So I'm under a sink, I look at the faucet, I go out to the truck, I'm staring at, where the hell, I lift everything on the truck. So now this is like stuff that I have to reply because I really don't wanna take it off of the truck. Again, uh, aviation snips, left and right. I have straights on the truck, I have crimpers. I needed to cut a template for a roof thing for a roofer so that they can make a hole. I could not make a circle. It's very hard to do it with straight. So I needed left and rights. 48, 22, 45, 23. It's the set, left and right. So you have a center, your left, right, your crimpers. You could pretty much do anything with tin. Um, I picked this up, the, the 90 degree corner clamp. I have a bunch of the older style. This one actually has a better back grip. I've seen a, quite a few demos on uh, Craig's site with it. So, you know, it's 45 bucks, but I said, I'm going to give it a shot. I got a bunch of pocket stuff I want to do. So I'm going to uh, try this. 
It's a little smaller than the one. I can't really grab it right now because I got a whole bunch of stuff in front of it. All right, let's go with this, the Triton. All right. I've been meaning to buy, you know, I have the Rikon Spindle Santa. <clears throat> and I like, I love using it. I love using it for, you know, when I got to do something small with an in, like an inside curve or something like that. But the, um, you know, it's, you can't sand down a boy. You can't do something long. <clears throat> I used to have the, mo the uh, rigid. But I actually, the rigid was given to me by somebody. And they, you know, they, it, 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 they really, it took a beat. And it, it burned out. So I, I got rid of it. And I have a, the other Rikon, which is the 6x48 belt with 12 inch disc. But I still got to get it back here with the cart. So I needed something. And I knew the Triton is a very good product. So I picked this up. I actually got this from Amazon for $229. And basically, it is um, a 4x20 four by uh, belt. And it's got the five size spindle, which I'm not going to use because I have that one. It comes with an inch and a quarter by three inch dust port. It will fit the vest tool hose storage in the back if you take and it's very simple you just loosen this bolt if you wanted to use it say for you know if you people want to buy one and have one you just pull this right off you take your back plate we still in, yep we're in focus here you take your back plate you insert it then you take on the sides there's five of these rings that make up the difference. So if you have your small one right to the large one, you put your ring on, you put that on, then you find your large, you get your nut over here, and then you have a wrench on the side, you tighten down, and now you have your, it's just your spindle. This is removable, you can remove this, A little bit, the tether, you know, just, you can just remove that. That falls right back in um, a hole. Your table, you you loosen these two screws here, not, and the table will drop down. But then it locks in different positions. I went actually two on that one. Back to 90. You tighten this back up. Now, say you want to turn it back to a belt. Put all your little doodads back in. You just got to kind of monkey with this thumb screw here. There we go. A little grease would really work out good. Take out your plate, put your and it's got all, see, it's got all different, and it's storage throughout this whole thing. I mean, I'm going to store it, and I'm going to, I'm not even going to, like I said, I'm not using this because I have that spindle stander there. I just wanted it for this. Just get, now, you, the way you test it is you, it'll, there's four little prongs that grab into receiving prongs, and when it, it'll fall right in, and then if you see this spin, and it'll drop right down. Now you know you're in, if you get your orange, this is for tracking. Then in the back, you have the, this right here is the release lever that releases the tension so you can put on um, a new or other uh, 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 grit of belt. And that's it. Got the, it's got a lock. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. That does vibrate off. It's got the lock here that you can undo it, but the best way to do it is unplug it. So it's a good machine. I've, I've never owned a Triton, but I know 
their reputation. So that's why I decided to buy this one. The only thing I wish is that it had some type of cord storage, but with those bungee things that I have, I'll be making something to hold it um, and then find a place. Okay, this. I needed a vacuum, and I needed one real quick. And again, this vacuum we have had for quite some time. I would say I bought this vacuum probably four or better months ago, and that's all we use. Now, before that, we were using this vacuum, this 18 volt. Great vacuum, but that's wet dry. This is not. And when you're a plumber, you need a wet dry vacuum. Now, even though it's only like a little less than two and a half gallon, and this one is, what do we have? It's the 0970-20. It's part of the packout system. And again, brand new, just got it. But, like I said, this system we have been using for four or better months with the other truck. That's it. It comes exactly as you see it. Now, first little compartment here houses your, this is for the, ex the dust extraction for hammer drills. So the vacuum attachment that you would put on, it's got all the little brushes, you vacuum it up and then you drill through the middle so that it sucks all of the silicon dust back into this. It's got the little, it's got a wand, it's got the little cup. Now the only problem is that the battery goes where this is. This will take a 9.0 battery, but 5.0 is more than what you need. So this goes in here, you can still get your little extractor in there. And then this top, it'll work perfectly without, with this open handle, locks onto the packout system. Then on the bottom here is your filter and your catch. That's how you filter, see, boom, that's how your filter goes on. There's re they sell replacement HEPA filters for it. Now, of course, if you're gonna use it for wet, take the filter off, make sure you don't got no dust, clean it up, because you're gonna make mud. So now your filter is on, you have your, there, there's a, 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 a way of using this as a blower. It's already attached to, so, and it, the actual hose stores right in to the body. Two speeds. That's high, and that's low. And then when you're done, you just store it right back in, and if you get it in there, and this side here is if you want to use it as a blower. And all you do with this is, is unlock it, pull it out. So there's a little lock and unlock symbol on both of these. So if you want to use it as a blower, you just take off the hose. And lock it. Now you're a blower. You want to go back to vacuum. The only thing is this is we don't we don't we don't have never used it as a blower. So it's 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 a vacuum only. Lock it in. So it goes right in there. And then this houses right in perfectly. As you can see on the other one, there there's it, the hose is all bent up. So now it fits on the packout system perfectly. So what did I get? Let's go with this one, this one first. I ended up finding 
There is no two drawer out there. I have ordered it, tool nut, put it on back order, and now they're saying, and I spoke with Milwaukee, the, the regional manager here, and the two drawer is non-existent. So I ended up finding six of these at Home Depot. All right, now I have one in the back of my pickup for my tools, and then the rest I'm gonna use in the new truck. And what I'm gonna do is I ended up, if you look at this, I mean, even though you have to lift and pull, see, it's kind of like, see, you gotta kind of lift and pull, you still have this bar that locks this in to prevent the drawers from opening. What I'm going to end up doing with these is I ended up buying, I got to buy a couple of more because I had four of them. So we're going to have four, 12. I have the one inch Kaizen foam inserts that's made specifically for these drawers. And in these drawers, what I'm going to be doing, now, you know, you got to take, it, you know, that's not going to work. With the, I don't use the, um, I don't use this. So by taking this off, I can get these drills in there, I can get batteries in there, I can get my 12 volt in there, I can get my, Dremel in there, I can get a small sawzall in here, I can get a multitude of tools in there. And then it comes, uh, you know, these things come everywhere. It comes with a set of dividers, and you can buy these separately. So what it comes with is it makes almost like a T in here. So you see it fits right in, and then you can take these and go across here and another one I'm just going to show you I'm not going to put the whole thing together so they give you one set so they give the other one and then you can actually turn it into three six nine compartments see you can turn it into nine compartments and you can do them on all three drawers whatever one you want or buy another one or two and do them in all three drawers so they give you like the first starter set this is really cool I actually I have I didn't use it in the other one I have a whole bunch of them and if you want to you can put a lock through here now there is no handle you have to carry it like this that's how you have to carry it but my intention is to start at the floor with one of those locks and then build up and then just kind of make something to hold kind of like maybe the third one into the truck so that it's not top heavy so just clamp from here or here back to the truck and that's it but because when you see it the whole truck's going to be pack out i'm going to use pack out for everything now i found this at the tool nut well let me show you this is real cool we have this too both in um, uh, standard and metric. This is the socket set, 3-8 drive, deep, shallow, swivel, short extension, long extension. You know, they give you these, a, a spark plug, um, 19 millimeter. It's nice. It's a nice ratchet. I would say it's probably around 90 to 100 teeth. It's got ver very nice ratchet. It's not a snap-on, but it's, it's nice, and we have used this extensively. Um, I have a standard on order, and I do have the open end wrenches. Uh, and you can remove it, the whole tray. You can take the whole tray out. It's got four little lifting tabs, and it's in a short half pack out. And you see, that's how the actual, the vacuum will go on. It's a half, so right in. You can put stuff on the top and lock it in. All right. I found from the tool nut. I made one of these tops. I bought the feet off of Amazon, put them on, put some CA glue, 
cut a piece of wood, rounded the edges, got it scented, pushed it down, let it sit, pulled it off, clamped them, drilled the three, six, 12 holes in it. Yeah, it was nice, but I got this on special. I think I paid like $24 for it. And again, it works as a lock with the pack out. It comes loose. It has the six uh, countersunk, it's countersunk flathead with, the, with fiber nuts. So it comes inside of this and you have to assemble it. You just cut a band, you have to assemble it. But it's, it's a nice work surface, but this is what I like it for. Oh. You're not sitting on those pack out things and you end up getting that, having your butt hurt. It's what I gotta relax, I swear to God. That's what I like it for. And, it, it, and I got it at a real good price, so that is, you know, so that's part of my truck. But I found the large box. This is the same box, but minus the wheels and the handle. It's got the two handles on the side, just like the other box. Doesn't have the handle because it has, you, your other box would have the wheels and the handle. So this is their large bottom, but without the wheels. Comes with a tray, really deep. I bought two of these, because what I'm gonna end up using this for is my Renai parts. They're not very large, unless it's one of those heat exchanges, that's in a big box, but Fans, PC boards, water servo valves, they're in small boxes. I carry one of each. If I use it, I just replace it with what I have in stock. Right in these boxes. That's where I'm gonna put them. And um, everything's gonna be P-touched. So that's what I bought these for. There's no, I don't need the wheels on them. And I, don't quote me, but I think this was like 129, something like that, or 99. I know the, uh, the big one's like 143. Uh, those the the drawers are um, the drawers are um, 149, but you know when you have this, and then you can put this is like noticeably heavier, really noticeably heavier. So you have. Let's see what did I do wrong here. See without it off having on the bottom. Uh, come on, yeah. There we go. There we go. So, there you go. Now you got that. And now you can take your vacuum. Make sure we're right. There you go. Now, if you had one of those toolboxes and another one of these the toolbox match that's that half a box matches perfectly with it I love this system love it I mean yes you'd have to um, take this off in order to get to this to open it or take the chance of opening it with the weight of this but it's just such a nice storage system more There's your top. And now I have even a taller seat if I wanted to. Like almost a stool. Ugh. <laughs> I could get sit at a bar. <laughs> it's just such a great system. Such a great. I wouldn't be sitting up here that tall. Down low is fine. But that's that. Now I got. I'm gonna. Sh uh, I gotta set it up. I got it before we went away. I'll show you the front. You know, I redid everything with the RAB products, but I ended up buying from a gentleman dashboard product. I ended up buying his. So here's his product dashboard. 
And what it does, it's the, let's see, hold on. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do like a, a really good review on this. Okay, you see, here's the new pivot for the MFT table. And this is locked in, but I now have to square it, like the old one, to the curve line. And I'm going to mess around with it a little bit today, but let me show you the quality of this guy's product. Now. Um, Chris and Al from RAB, um, as a matter of fact, Chris um, has been telling me about this gentleman, and I've had, him, I've had him saved. He has an Etsy store, he has uh, Instagram, and all of a sudden, I got a following off of my Instagram channel from Dashboard, and that said, oh my God, I need to order this product. But look at the quality that this guy puts in. So here, here's his, that's him. So you have this two locking uh, screws that lock in to the MFT track. Then there's two um, fiber bolts that actually grab the top of this track right here. So it's kind of like got two points not to move. Instead of a stamped piece for the track, which is in this right here, there is a rounded piece and he gives you an adapter, which I don't really know if I, oh yes, here it is, look at that. So they give you this adapter that slides into the track that then s makes up the difference here on that round holder piece. So, and then it's got two Allen screws that lock it up into the track. Now again, I have not, I just, I, I received it on the day we were leaving for our vacation. And I took some photos and while I was waiting for my wife, I took it apart and played with it, but it goes right into the bottom track. Very, and then the top screws, actually it just, it, it, there's like no guessing. Can we see good? Then you lock it in. Now I do have to move the stop and then to adjust it, look at this, it's all, it's a, beautifully machined aluminum and the, it, it, it's not that lever that you got to kind of mess around with it's just a very well constructed and I'll include his thing in the um, description below I got some uh, some new RAB stuff from uh, I'll show you this thing and I'll show you a little I got some more clamp holders. I got some more of the element holders. And then this is the lower profile for the element holder. So you have, so you have that piece there, but now you have, whoop, wrong way, that piece, see, see the difference? And then you have a smaller piece for the end opposed to this one here. See what the see the height difference in it? That I think is really cool. And then all you do is just pull that off and put that one on. And now you're significantly there lower to clamp it. Okay, so as you can see what happens when you when you're that high in your sand. I mean, you'll get that a little bit, 
but at least that's lower and he's got nice rubber on the front there and then you can just swap back out with your other piece and then right back in your holder and then they sent me <laughs> I got stickers and I got a nice little banner from them thank you Al and Chris this will be going up soon on the wall the MFT table ah man it was like six hundred dollars in lumber I, said, I ain't spending six hundred bucks I mean right now the wife's using it she's using it for her wreath stuff um, and you know I'm not gonna do anything until um, I that lumber pricing is down all right I think that's it on the new toys I would be doing another video hmm. I will be doing another video when I get the truck um, but like I said it's all it's all gonna be pack out it's all gonna be pack out that uh, this system all right um, you know I've you know I've mentioned and I've shown in a couple of videos my wife has started wreath making and she just loves it, loves it. And now she's very close to starting a store, an Etsy store. Now I want to show you, here's one of her wreaths that she just did, and she did it for um, family. So that is, now I don't know if I'm holding it correctly. I think it goes like that. But this is what she does. She loves the floral. So the fake flowers, the grapevine, but this is what she does. And she's set up out here on this MFT table. She has, uh, oh, as a matter of fact, here. Give me a second. Here's another one. And I actually built this for her. So this is what she uses too. And she actually, she, I did it differently. She cut this out and glued it, screwed it, sanded it. And this is what she works on. And this is another reed she just completed right here. And she could use this to hang her wreath on so she gets an idea of how it looks. Again, don't quote me on how it is. She's the artist. But this is what she does. She makes her own bows, everything. I built her a ton of stuff around here so that she, she's got her own sustainers. She's got her own glue holders. She has her own mats. She clamps everything to work off of this. And this is where she works. Turns the air condition on and she comes out here and works. And I just sit on a, in a chair and watch her. But this is what she does. I am so proud of her. And I'm praying she starts a YouTube channel. The, the store is close. But the YouTube channel, I don't know. But I'm praying that she does a YouTube channel. A um, little shy, but she'll, she'll, maybe she'll, she'll get it. But this is what um, she does, and she loves it. So and you're going to check out my Instagram, because I'm going to be posting all of her wreaths on my channel and the other one the Renai guy and I just bought all new lighting uh, photograph lighting you know the umbrellas and the hoods and they're all set up right now where she's been taking the pictures on a nice door we have on the inside a white door so um, that's keep, stay tuned for those pictures you can see exactly what she does I'm just so proud of her and I love watching her do it um, yeah you could tell I just <laughs> I'm, I'm just so happy that um, this is, and she loves it. She loves it. So, all right, YouTube. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for all of the subscribes, the likes, hit that little bell. I'm going to be doing more and more now every week because uh, I'm kind of slowing down on the Renai Guy channel. I, I just don't want to, you know, keep repeating videos. So, 
that is probably now going to be one or two a month and I'm going to be back to one a week with um, the uh, Mike's Wood Shop. I know I'm wearing the wrong shirt uh, because I was actually uh, out working this morning. All right, so again, thank you to all the subscribes, the likes, the comments, the questions. My email will be below. You got to want to ask a question, you want a Mike's Wood Shop sticker, uh, feel, f you know, just send me your info, send me the question, and I'll, I'll answer you. Okay? Again, you all have a happy, safe 4th of July, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.